Questions 1 through 3 refer to the following introduction. Hello, everyone. Today's seminar was led by BNZ. As one of the major business consulting firms, BNZ is dedicated to providing training and consulting to help you control your small businesses. If your business needs improvement, then our workshops and seminars could be one of the catalysts you are looking for. Not only will your business benefit from training employees on a regular basis, but making staff aware of different ways they can come up with ideas through professional consultations. Please don't forget that the topic of the next seminar will be your company's finances. If you need any additional business advice, don't hesitate to call our office. We'd be happy to schedule a one on one appointment to discuss your specific needs. Number one Who most likely are the listeners? Number two What will be the topic of the next workshop? Number three Why does the speaker suggest listeners call BNZ Incorporated? Questions 4 through 6 refer to the following introduction. Hello, I'd like to welcome all of you to our seminar, which will focus on online marketing techniques. As you might know, the online sales figures of our newest line of cosmetics have it gradually increased since last year, and our company tries to keep that trend going on. This is the primary reason for running this training session. I hope you learn a lot about marketing strategy. In a few minutes, Jason Ming will be presenting to us about how people decide what to purchase through the Internet and what this means for us in the marketing group. During his speech, in case you have any questions, please wait until they have finished. You will have a chance to ask questions later on. Number 4. Who is the training program intended for? Number 5. According to the speaker, what has happened since last year? Number 6. What will Jason Ming mainly talk about? Questions 7 through 9 refer to the following introduction. Welcome to Food World. As our studio guest, we are inviting a well-known chef, Jane Greenberg. You might have heard about her popular cookbook, Spicing Up Vegetables, which contains the most innovative recipes I've seen in ages. She also has a series of bestseller books on contemporary cuisine. In a second, she's going to come out to the studio and introduce three of the city's favorite vegetarian restaurants and explain what makes them so special and how quickly each gains a reputation. Let me invite Ms. Greenberg to the studio. Please give a big hand of applause for Ms. Greenberg. I hope she leaves you feeling full. Number 7. Who is Jane Greenberg? Number 8. What does the speaker say about the book, Spicing Up Vegetables? Number 9. What will Jane Greenberg discuss today? Questions 1 through 3 refer to the following introduction. Hello, everyone. Today's seminar was led by BNZ. As one of the major business consulting firms, BNZ is dedicated to providing training and consulting to help you control your small businesses. If your business needs improvement, then our workshops and seminars could be one of the catalysts you are looking for. Not only will your business benefit from training employees on a regular basis, but making staff aware of different ways they can come up with ideas through professional consultations. Please don't forget that the topic of the next seminar will be your company's finances. If you need any additional business advice, don't hesitate to call our office. We'd be happy to schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment to discuss your specific needs. Number 1. Who most likely are the listeners? Number 2. What will be the topic of the next workshop? Number 3. Why does the speaker suggest listeners call BNZ Incorporated?
Questions 4 through 6 refer to the following introduction. Hello, I'd like to welcome all of you to our seminar, which will focus on online marketing techniques. As you might know, the online sales figures of our newest line of cosmetics have it gradually increased since last year, and our company tries to keep that trend going on. This is the primary reason for running this training session. I hope you learn a lot about marketing strategy. In a few minutes, Jason Ming will be presenting to us about how people decide what to purchase through the Internet and what this means for us in the marketing group. During his speech, in case you have any questions, please wait until they have finished. You will have a chance to ask questions later on. Number 4. Who is the training program intended for? Number 5. According to the speaker, what has happened since last year? Number 6. What will Jason Ming mainly talk about? Questions 7 through 9 refer to the following introduction. Welcome to Food World. As our studio guest, we are inviting a well-known chef, Jane Greenberg. You might have heard about her popular cookbook, Spicing Up Vegetables, which contains the most innovative recipes I've seen in ages. She also has a series of bestseller books on contemporary cuisine. In a second, she's going to come out to the studio and introduce three of the city's favorite vegetarian restaurants and explain what makes them so special and how quickly each gains a reputation. Let me invite Ms. Greenberg to the studio. Please give a big hand of applause for Ms. Greenberg. I hope she leaves you feeling full. Number 7. Who is Jane Greenberg? Number 8. What does the speaker say about the book Spicing Up Vegetables? Number 9. What will Jane Greenberg discuss today? Unit 6. As you know, Mark has been with us for more than 30 years. He started as a sales representative and moved his way up to running the sales department. She will outline the marketing strategies that have allowed Megatech to gain a 30% market share in just 15 months. Please welcome Francine Walker to the stage. Our featured speaker today is Monica Chang, whom you all know by her reputation as an innovative leader in marketing. As your president, it's my pleasure to present these awards at the end of our first 10 years of business. Now, as we prepare to begin our second decade of operations, we all anticipate even more success. The tram will be arriving shortly to take you up to the beautiful museum and garden. The tram travels at a top speed of 10 miles per hour. Welcome aboard our sunset dinner cruise around the harbor. Our luxury boat will cruise for an hour around the harbor to give you the full view of the city lights from the water. If you look to the right side of the bus, you will see the Samaria Gorge. It is the deepest gorge in Europe and was formed over 10 million years ago. Unit 6 As you know, Mark has been with us for more than 30 years. He started as a sales representative and moved his way up to running the sales department.
She will outline the marketing strategies that have allowed Megatech to gain a 30% market share in just 15 months. Please welcome Francine Walker to the stage. Our featured speaker today is Monica Chang, whom you all know by her reputation as an innovative leader in marketing. As your president, it's my pleasure to present these awards at the end of our first 10 years of business. Now, as we prepare to begin our second decade of operations, we all anticipate even more success. The tram will be arriving shortly to take you up to the beautiful museum and garden. The tram travels at a top speed of 10 miles per hour. Welcome aboard our sunset dinner cruise around the harbor. Our luxury boat will cruise for an hour around the harbor to give you the full view of the city lights from the water. If you look to the right side of the bus, you will see the Sumerian Gorge. It is the deepest gorge in Europe and was formed over 10 million years ago. Questions 1 through 3 refer to the following speech. Welcome everyone to our quarterly staff meeting. Following the free trading agreement with China, our firm saw a mass increase in consumption in the last quarter. Removal of the trading tax has also boosted our productivity by diminishing transportation cost. Our growth is so rapid at the moment, and we are looking forward to making some investment on our company's reorganization. Expansion of the overseas branch is in the process, and we will need some employees to be dispatched. This plan will be finalized by the end of the year. Arrangements for employees to go to foreign offices will be concluded by the end of the third quarter. Thank you for listening. Number 1. Who are the listeners? Number 2. What has happened at their firm? Number 3. What does the speaker say will be completed by the end of the year? Questions 4 through 6 refer to the following speech. Welcome all attendees to our 5th Annual Martin Banking Convention. In previous conventions, we were able to learn some good ideas by many head leaders who have insights in our industries. This meeting has been constantly developing so far, and we are going to improve it to another level, from not only sharing information, but also as a stepping stone for intelligent newcomers to the firms. So, we will also hold our very first job fair right here at the convention. Recently, in our market, the importance of employment of prospective young graduates has been vividly proven, and it will be our discussion topic for today. Now, let me introduce our first speaker, Ms. Christine Garrett, President of RPV Bank. Number 4. What kind of event are the listeners attending? Number 5. According to the speaker, what will happen for the first time? Number 6. What will the listeners probably do next? Questions 7 through 9 refer to the following speech. Recently, medication has been an active and vibrant research field of pharmaceutical technology. My name is Victor Shim, and I'm here to lecture about biomedical research at Bronston Pharmaceuticals. Previous medication was taken only in one way, which aroused many complaints of the users. Thanks to pharmaceutical chemists trying to solve this problem, a new medication was invented. This medication is the first of its kind that will be available to use in multiple forms, such as tablet, applying to the skin, and mixing with water in spray. 
In sequence, I'll introduce you the primary effect and virtue of this new medication. At this point, let me go over the document handout. Number 7. Who most likely is the speaker? Number 8. What does the speaker say is special about the new medication? Number 9. What will the speaker do next? Questions 1 through 3 refer to the following speech. Welcome everyone to our quarterly staff meeting. Following the free trading agreement with China, our firm saw a mass increase in consumption in the last quarter. Removal of the trading tax has also boosted our productivity by diminishing transportation costs. Our growth is so rapid at the moment, and we are looking forward to making some investment on our company's reorganization. Expansion of the overseas branch is in the process, and we will need some employees to be dispatched. This plan will be finalized by the end of the year. Arrangements for employees to go to foreign offices will be concluded by the end of the third quarter. Thank you for listening. Number 1. Who are the listeners? Number 2. What has happened at their firm? Number 3. What does the speaker say will be completed by the end of the year? Questions 4 through 6 refer to the following speech Welcome all attendees to our fifth annual Martin Banking Convention. In previous conventions, We were able to learn some good ideas by many head leaders who have insights in our industries. This meeting has been constantly developing so far, and we are going to improve it to another level from not only sharing information, but also as a stepping stone for intelligent newcomers to the firms. So, we will also hold our very first job fair right here at the convention. Recently, in our market, the importance of employment of prospective young graduates has been vividly proven. And it will be our discussion topic for today. Now, let me introduce our first speaker, Ms. Christine Garrett, president of RPV Bank. Number four, what kind of event are the listeners attending? Number five, according to the speaker, what will happen for the first time? Number six, What will the listeners probably do next? Questions 7 through 9 refer to the following speech. Recently, medication has been an active and vibrant research field of pharmaceutical technology. My name is Victor Shim, and I'm here to lecture about biomedical research at Bronston Pharmaceuticals. Previous medication was taken only in one way, which aroused many complaints of the users. Thanks to pharmaceutical chemists trying to solve this problem, a new medication was invented. This medication is the first of its kind that will be available to use in multiple forms, such as tablet, applying to the skin, and mixing with water in spray. In sequence, I'll introduce you the primary effect and virtue of this new medication. At this point, let me go over the document handout. Number 7. Who most likely is the speaker? Number 8. What does the speaker say is special about the new medication? Number 9. What will the speaker do next? Questions 1 through 3 refer to the following instructions. Thanks to everyone for staying late to prepare for the nutrition workshop tomorrow. We were surprised to see a lot of last minute registrations, and now we need to get this information into the hospital database by the end of the day. Please be particularly careful when entering each registrant's health history, as this information is critical to the activities. And another thing, since everyone will be using the same database at the same time, there's a danger that the network will slow down. To avoid that, please be sure to log out if you leave your workstation for more than a few minutes. That way, we should be able to finish this job on time.
Number 1. What event will listeners prepare for? Number 2. What type of work are listeners doing? Number 3. What does the man want to prevent? Questions 4 through 6 refer to the following message. Welcome to the Central Museum of Fine Arts, and thank you for purchasing this audio tour guide to the Maxim Simon Modern Sculpture Exhibit. This exhibit has the largest collection of Ms. Simon's work ever assembled. You'll see that each of the sculptures has a number beside it. To listen to the information about a particular piece, simply type that number on the keypad of your audio device. If at any time you'd like to listen to these instructions again, press number 1. Number 4. What is being shown in the Maxim Simon exhibit? Number 5. What is said about the exhibit? Number 6. Why are listeners instructed to press 1 on their audio device? Questions 7 through 9 refer to the following lecture. To prioritize daily tasks is the most important part of time management. It can be done by following some simple steps. These steps will allow you to set goals for each day. First, write all your tasks for the day. Second, rank the tasks in the order of priority. Keep focused on one task until it is completed. Then third, move on to the next one. By following these steps, you'll save time increase your efficiency, and reduce your stress level since you know what's ahead of you and what needs to be done next. Number 7. What is the speaker doing? Number 8. In what field does the speaker most likely work? Number 9. What will the listeners most likely do next? Questions 1 through 3 refer to the following instructions. Thanks to everyone for staying late to prepare for the nutrition workshop tomorrow. We were surprised to see a lot of last-minute registrations, and now we need to get this information into the hospital database by the end of the day. Please be particularly careful when entering each registrant's health history, as this information is critical to the activities. And another thing... Since everyone will be using the same database at the same time, there's a danger that the network will slow down. To avoid that, please be sure to log out if you leave your workstation for more than a few minutes. That way, we should be able to finish this job on time. Number 1. What event will listeners prepare for? Number 2. What type of work are listeners doing? Number 3. What does the man want to prevent? Questions 4 through 6 refer to the following message. Welcome to the Central Museum of Fine Arts, and thank you for purchasing this audio tour guide to the Maxim Simon Modern Sculpture Exhibit. This exhibit has the largest collection of Ms. Simon's work ever assembled. You'll see that each of the sculptures has a number beside it. To listen to the information about a particular piece, simply type that number on the keypad of your audio device. If at any time you'd like to listen to these instructions again, press number 1. Number 4. What is being shown in the Maxim Simon exhibit? Number 5. What is said about the exhibit? Number 6. Why are listeners instructed to press 1 on their audio device? Questions 7 through 9 refer to the following lecture. To prioritize daily tasks is the most important part of time management. It can be done by following some simple steps. These steps will allow you to set goals for each day. First, write all your tasks for the day. Second, rank the tasks in the order of priority. 
keep focused on one task until it is completed. Then third, move on to the next one. By following these steps, you'll save time, increase your efficiency, and reduce your stress level since you know what's ahead of you and what needs to be done next. Number seven, what is the speaker doing? Number eight, in what field does the speaker most likely work? Number nine, what will the listeners most likely do next? Questions one through three refer to the following introduction. It is with pleasure and privilege that I introduce today's speaker for the 12th Annual Science and Technology Conference, Dr. Richard Bonner. Dr. Bonner is currently the representative of the Institute of Creation Research. His latest publication, Science and Creation, recently became a best-selling book. Today, he will talk to us about the right direction of how technology should be developed in the next 20 years. Now, please join me in welcoming Dr. Bonner by giving him a big round of applause. Number 1. How long ago did the conference begin? Number 2. What is true about Dr. Bonner? Number 3. What most likely is Dr. Bonner going to talk about? Questions 4 through 6 refer to the following speech. As all of you are aware, this party is in honor of Lucy Little, who is retiring after 30 years of service to our company. Lucy started off as a caretaker and moved up the ranks over the years to become the head of the sales department. She is known well by our suppliers and staff as being very approachable and courteous. She will be dearly missed by everyone, including myself. Now, before I invite her onto the stage, I just want to say that I first had the privilege of working with Lucy almost 28 years ago when she became a member of our sales team. I still remember the nervous look on her face when she first went out with me to visit a client. At the time, I thought she was not aggressive enough to make a good saleswoman, but, to my surprise, she showed leadership beyond anyone's expectation. Now. Would you all give a big round of applause for the lady of the hour, Miss Lucy Little? Number 4. What is the speaker doing? Number 5. According to the speaker, what do the other staff members think about Miss Little? Number 6. Who is the speaker? Questions 7 through 9 refer to the following business report. Yesterday, at a press conference at Central Hotel in New York, Bottoms Up, a high-energy snack and beverages company, announced that it will be closing down its processing plants on the outskirts of New York City and relocating them to areas closer to its head office in Atlanta, Georgia. The reason for the relocation is to lower its expenses by streamlining its operations in the hope of obtaining a higher return on its invested capital. Due to the company's processing plant changes, it is expected that 100 jobs will be cut. The company also added that its other plants in Buffalo and Boston will most likely be moved. Number 7. What is being announced? Number 8. Where is the head office located? Number 9. According to the report, what will most likely happen to the plants in Boston?
Questions 10 through 12 refer to the following talk. Good morning, everyone. It's a bright, beautiful day today, isn't it? My name is Richard Benson, and I'm your assigned tour guide for today. We'll start off the day by taking a short hike up the mountain to observe the wild animals and exotic forestry, which are found in no other region of the earth. Then we'll pass some Buddhist temples, which were constructed in the 18th century. We will spend some time there to relax and to feel the serenity of the place. Afterward, we will head to the city market for lunch. Once there, you will get to enjoy all kinds of delicatessens run by the local people. After lunch, we'll take you to a snake farm to take a look at some of the most venomous creatures of the planet. So, everyone, let's get ready to leave. In addition, don't forget to pack your video or digital cameras. Number 10. Who is the speaker? Number 11. What will the listeners do first? Number 12. What does the speaker remind the listeners to do? Questions 1 through 3 refer to the following introduction. It is with pleasure and privilege that I introduce today's speaker for the 12th Annual Science and Technology Conference, Dr. Richard Bonner. Dr. Bonner is currently the representative of the Institute of Creation Research. His latest publication, Science and Creation, recently became a best selling book. Today, he will talk to us about the right direction of how technology should be developed in the next 20 years. Now, please join me in welcoming Dr. Bonner by giving him a big round of applause. Number 1. How long ago did the conference begin? Number 2. What is true about Dr. Bonner? Number three. What most likely is Dr. Bonner going to talk about? Questions four through six refer to the following speech. As all of you are aware, this party is in honor of Lucy Little, who is retiring after 30 years of service to our company. Lucy started off as a caretaker and moved up the ranks over the years to become the head of the sales department. She is known well by our suppliers and staff as being very approachable and courteous. She will be dearly missed by everyone, including myself. Now, Before I invite her onto the stage, I just want to say that I first had the privilege of working with Lucy almost 28 years ago when she became a member of our sales team. I still remember the nervous look on her face when she first went out with me to visit a client. At the time, I thought she was not aggressive enough to make a good saleswoman, but to my surprise, she showed leadership beyond anyone's expectation. Now, Would you all give a big round of applause for the lady of the hour, Miss Lucy Little? Number 4. What is the speaker doing? Number 5. According to the speaker, what do the other staff members think about Miss Little? Number 6. Who is the speaker? Questions 7 through 9 refer to the following business report. Yesterday, at a press conference at Central Hotel in New York, Bottoms Up, a high energy snack and beverages company, announced that it will be closing down its processing plants on the outskirts of New York City. And relocating them to areas closer to its head office in Atlanta, Georgia. The reason for the relocation is to lower its expenses by streamlining its operations 
in the hope of obtaining a higher return on its invested capital. Due to the company's processing plant changes, it is expected that 100 jobs will be cut. The company also added that its other plants in Buffalo and Boston will most likely be moved. Number 7. What is being announced? Number 8. Where is the head office located? Number 9. According to the report, what will most likely happen to the plants in Boston? Questions 10 through 12 refer to the following talk. Good morning, everyone. It's a bright, beautiful day today, isn't it? My name is Richard Benson, and I'm your assigned tour guide for today. We'll start off the day by taking a short hike up the mountain to observe the wild animals and exotic forestry, which are found in no other region of the earth. Then we'll pass some Buddhist temples, which were constructed in the 18th century. We will spend some time there to relax and to feel the serenity of the place. Afterward, We will head to the city market for lunch. Once there, you will get to enjoy all kinds of delicatessens run by the local people. After lunch, we'll take you to a snake farm to take a look at some of the most venomous creatures of the planet. So, everyone, let's get ready to leave. In addition, don't forget to pack your video or digital cameras. Number 10. Who is the speaker? Number 11. What will the listeners do first? Number 12. What does the speaker remind the listeners to do?